Hey guys, in this video we're going to be checking out the top best ultra-wide gaming monitors in this year. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research and I've listed them based on quality, durability, price, and more. I've included options for every type of consumer, so if you're looking for the best value per dollar or the best product money can buy, we'll have the product for you. If you want more information and updated pricing on the products mentioned, be sure to check the links in the description down below. Okay, so let's get started with the video. Number 1 LG 29WK600 We start this category off with a budget ultrawide option from LG. Design-wise, it is almost identical to the LG 27UL500 that we have already seen in the 4K section, featuring a simple matte black frame and a bulky silver stand. And though it may not seem all that impressive at first glance, what you get under the hood is quite a bargain at this price point. Moving on the key features. The display. The monitor comes with a hefty 29-inch diagonal, it is a 1080p display, and uses an IPS panel. That said, the visuals and the performance are mostly what you'd expect, solid viewing angles, good colors, a refresh rate that goes no higher than 75Hz, and a response time of 5 milliseconds. Furthermore, it even supports HDR, which is always a welcome addition, especially in a monitor as relatively cheap as this one. Connecting Ports the 29WK600W is equipped with two HDMI 2.0 ports and a single DisplayPort 1.2 input, plus the 3.5mm audio out for headphones. Moving on the additional features. AMD FreeSync. As most budget monitors do, the LG 29WK600W comes complete with AMD FreeSync, which works in the 40-75Hz range. Adjustable stand. Unsurprisingly, the stand that accompanies this budget monitor, like many others in this price range, only supports tilt adjustment. Visa support. The monitor is compatible with 100x100 Visa mounts. Bullthin speakers. The speakers are, once again, quite mediocre, although they are more powerful than the average monitor speakers at 5W each. HDR support. As we have mentioned above, not only is the monitor quite affordable for an ultrawide model, but it supports HDR, which is a definite plus. Downsides of the monitor. No curve. Sadly, the main drawback of the LG 29WK600 is that it doesn't feature a curved display. This is a high priority feature in ultrawide monitors, as it can greatly enhance immersion. Uninspired design. We have already mentioned that this monitor is nigh identical to the LG 27UL500 when it comes to the design, and what we have said for that monitor goes here. It is quite bland and doesn't exactly scream quality, but that is only expected with a monitor in this price range. Basic stand. Again, like the LG 27UL500, the LG 29WK600 features the same rudimentary stand that, while it is stable and wholly capable of fulfilling its purpose, can only be adjusted for tilt. Final thoughts about the monitor. With everything taken into account, what we have here is a near-ideal budget ultrawide monitor. A solid panel, HDR support, and a couple of convenient extra tricks, the biggest drawback being the lack of a curved screen, along with an unimpressive design and a rudimentary stand. Number 2 SEPTA C305B200UN Next, we have another budget-friendly ultrawide monitor from a lesser-known company. SEPTA is a monitor and TV manufacturer and was actually founded all the way back in 1984, though they didn't leave much of a footprint in the gaming monitor part of the market lately. But the SEPTA C305B200UN just might surprise you, though it doesn't look like much at first glance. Moving on the key features. The display. The SEPTA C305B200UN is a curved 30-inch monitor with a 1080p resolution and a refresh rate of up to 200Hz, depending on the type of connector used. The monitor uses a VA panel, so the contrast is quite good, but the response time isn't exactly stellar at 5 milliseconds. Connecting Ports The monitor comes with one HDMI 2.0 port, two HDMI 1.4 ports, and one DisplayPort 1.2 connector, along with a headphone jack. Moving on the additional features. AMD FreeSync. Naturally, the monitor comes with FreeSync, and the supported range with DisplayPort is the expected 48 to 200 Hz. However, it's a bit more limited if you use an HDMI port, as the 2.01 can only support up to 165 Hz and the 1.41s can only do 75 Hz in the monitor's native resolution. Integrated speakers. The monitor has two 3 watt speakers built in. Adjustable stand. The stand that comes with the monitor is stable but quite basic, as it only supports tilt adjustment. Visa support. 
Oddly enough, this ultrawide monitor is compatible with 75 times 75 visa mounts, rather than the usual 100 times 100 that you see in monitors. Downsides of the monitor. Ghosting. At such a relatively low price point, the C305B200UN can't be perfect, so the signature floor of the VA panel shines through. Namely, there is some moderate ghosting to contend with, though it is only really noticeable in darker scenes, as usual. Basic stand. As mentioned above, this scepter monitor comes with a rudimentary stand that can only be adjusted for tilt, and we would have loved to see one that offered a bit more flexibility in terms of adjustment. Final thoughts of the monitor. All in all, the Scepter C305B200UN is just what you'd expect of a curved ultrawide VA monitor, great contrast, immersive, and with solid color reproduction. The refresh rate is an exceptional 200Hz, and the ghosting is the only real downside to the display itself. Of course, it is also remarkably affordable, so if you're looking for an affordable curved ultrawide monitor, then this is the model for you, as it truly offers remarkably good value for your money. Number 3 LG 34UC79G. Moving on, we have yet another monitor from LG, and it is a bit flashier than the previous one. The LG 34UC79GB is geared mainly towards gamers, as can be inferred from the design as well as the panel specifications, which are unlikely to disappoint a performance oriented gamer. Moving on the key features the display. The LG 34UC79GB shares its resolution, panel technology, and pixel response time with the LG 29WK600. However, the key changes here are the size of the screen, which is now a humongous 34 inches, and it is curved to boot. On top of that, the monitor features a refresh rate that can go up to 144 Hz, while the response time remains at 5 milliseconds. Connecting ports. The monitor is equipped with two HDMI 2.0 ports and a single DisplayPort 1.2 connector, as well as a total of two USB 3.0 ports and two audio jacks. Moving on the additional features. AMD FreeSync. Naturally, you can't have a 144Hz monitor without adaptive sync, and LG went with FreeSync for this model as well. It is available in the 50 to 144Hz range, and while 50 is a bit higher than the usual lower limit, this is unlikely to be an issue. Adjustable stand. The stock stand can be adjusted for tilt and height, lacking swivel adjustment, which is a bit disappointing. Visa support. The monitor is compatible with 100 times 100 visa mounts. Downsides of the monitor. Pricey. As usual, with high quality comes a high price, and this applies to the LG 34UC79GB as well. It's roughly twice as expensive as either of the above two monitors. No HDR. The markedly cheaper LG 29WK600 features HDR, so it's quite a shame that this monitor, which is significantly more expensive and uses an IPS panel with similar specs, does not. Final thoughts about the monitor. All in all, the LG 34UC79GB is very close to being the very best ultrawide monitor that you can get for this kind of money. With its enormous curved screen, the vibrant IPS display, and the 144Hz refresh rate, it is truly a superb choice for gaming. Number 4 MSI Optics MAG341CQ. The next monitor on the list comes from MSI, and in a way, it improves upon one of the primary shortcomings of the previous LG 34UC79G. Namely, the MSI Optics MAG341CQ is another 34 inch curved ultrawide monitor that costs about the same, but it shuffles the priorities around a bit. Moving on the key features the display. As stated above, the MAG341CQ is a 34-inch ultrawide monitor, but it differs from the LG 34UC79G mainly in the fact that it uses a VA panel and boasts a noticeably higher resolution. However, it takes a bit of a step back in the performance department, as the refresh rate is down to 100Hz from the LG's 144Hz. Connecting ports. The MSI Optics MAG341CQ has two HDMI 2.0 ports, one DisplayPort 1.2 input, and even a DVI port. DVI is actually capable of handling the monitor's resolution, but the refresh rate will go no higher than 60 Hz, so using either HDMI or DisplayPort instead would be preferable. Moving on the additional features. AMD FreeSync. Once again, the monitor comes with FreeSync which is available in the 48 to 100 Hz range, allowing for smooth and tear-free gaming at high frame rates. Adjustable stand. The stand, unfortunately, is nothing to marvel at, as it is yet another basic stock stand that can only be adjusted for tilt. Downsides of the monitor. No native visa support. What is definitely surprising about the MAG341CQ is the fact that it lacks integrated visa support. 
On the bright side, MSI does sell a Visa adapter that is easy enough to install, but paying an additional $20 for something that has become such a common feature among monitors. No HDR. Once again, we have a great panel that offers crisp visuals, stark contrast, and vibrant colors, but it still lacks HDR, another feature that is more and more common among gaming monitors. High response time. With a response time of 8 milliseconds, the MAG341CQ may feel sluggish, especially for those who are used to faster panels. The ghosting isn't too noticeable, but it is bound to bother those who mainly used performance-oriented TN monitors in the past. Final thoughts about the monitor. Much like the LG 34UC79G, the MSI Optics MAG341CQ is not exactly a perfect monitor, but it is still an incredibly good deal at its current price. You'd be getting a curved 34-inch ultrawide monitor with a fast 1440p VA panel that offers great visuals, immersion, and enhanced performance. Ultimately, the high response time takes away from the fluidity enabled by a 100Hz refresh rate, while the lack of HDR and native Visa support are merely minor inconveniences. After all, you can't have everything at this price point, and if you find that this monitor does have the features that you deem to be most important in a gaming monitor, then you will definitely not regret buying it. Number 5 LG 34GK950F And to close this section of the buying guide, we have a premium quality monster from LG, the LG 34GK950F. On the outside, it doesn't look as gaudy as most high-end gaming monitors, as it boasts a sleek black frame and a simple-looking stand, with some red highlights on the back. However, once you look at the spec sheet, you'll immediately realize why it comes with such a hefty price tag. Moving on the key features. The display. Like the previous two models, the LG 34GK950F is a curved 34-inch monitor, and it features a panel that has it all, IPS, 1440p, 144Hz, HDR, and even efficient motion blur reduction that does a decent job of emulating a 1 millisecond response time. Connecting ports. The monitor features two HDMI 2.0 ports, one DisplayPort 1.4 connector, along with two USB 3.0 ports, and a headphone jack. Moving on the additional features. AMD FreeSync 2. The LG 34GK950F comes with FreeSync 2, an updated version of FreeSync that works exclusively with HDR monitors and it has low framerate compensation for when the FPS drops below the supported threshold. It works in a respectable 55 to 144 Hz range over DisplayPort but only in a 55 to 85 Hz range if you're using HDMI. Adjustable stand. Thankfully, this LG monitor comes with a not particularly good-looking but highly adjustable stand that can be adjusted for tilt, height, and swivel. There is no pivot adjustment, since it's pointless having it in an ultrawide monitor. Visa support. The monitor comes with native 100x100 Visa mount support. HDR. As mentioned above, the monitor supports HDR, which really makes it very close to a full package. Downsides of the monitor. Disappointing contrast. Again, a common issue with IPS panels that takes away from the HDR experience is the limited contrast. The brightness is good enough, but needless to say, you might find the overtly grey blacks distracting if you tend to play in a dark or dimly lit room. Expensive. With a quadruple digit MSRP, the LG 34GK950F is not for everyone, that much is certain. Final thoughts about the monitor. All in all, despite its relatively few shortcomings, the LG 34GK950F is undoubtedly one of the best ultrawide gaming monitors that you can get right now. It features a superb panel that brings the vibrant colors of IPS, the clarity and crispness of 1440p, and the fluidity of a 144Hz refresh rate, with very little motion blur. Granted, the contrast is not the best but until OLED monitors become a thing, a more affordable thing, IPS and VA will always be weighing against each other when it comes to the balance of color accuracy and contrast. Rest assured, if you can afford the LG 34GK950F and have a PC that's good enough to make full use of it, you will hardly find an ultrawide solution better than this one. Thanks for watching and I hope you liked the video, if you found the video helpful please remember to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products, you can leave a comment below and I will get back to you as soon as I can.